Section Zero of Our Little Irish Cousin. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sarah and Gracia Parshall. Our Little Irish Cousin by Mary Hazelton Blanchard Wade. Preface. You have often heard people speak of the Emerald Isle. When you have asked where it is and why it is so called, you have been told it is only another name for that small island to the northwest of the continent of Europe called Ireland. The rains there fall so often, and the sun shines so warmly afterward, that Mother Nature is able to dress herself in the brightest and loveliest of colors. The people there are cheerful and good-natured, they are always ready to smile through their tears and see the funny side of every hardship. And alas, many things have happened to cause their tears to flow. They have suffered from poverty and hunger. Thousands of them have been forced to leave parents and friends and seek a living within the kindly shores of America. America is great, America is kind, they may think, but oh, for one look at the beautiful lakes of Kilnari. Oh, for a walk over the green fields and hills of the Emerald Isle. And oh, for the chance to gather a cluster of shamrock, the emblem of dear old Erin. The little Irish cousin, who has never left her native land, may be poor and sometimes ragged, but her heart is warm and tender, and she loves her country and her people with a love that will never change, no matter where she may travel or what fortune may befall her. End of preface. Read by Sarah and Gracia Parshall. Sarahparshall.blogspot.com.